If you want to see how to use custom SQL statements inside your link to SQL ORM instead of using the automatically generated stuff, you're watching the right video. My name is Scott Stanfield. I'm with Vertigo, and I'm going to write a little bit of VB.NET code and show you how it's done. So I've got a straightforward Northwind DBML file, the kind of thing you've seen in every video so far. No changes, just dragged a couple tables on it. I have a part 9 ASPX page with just a button and a grid. We're going to write some code, so when you click the button, we're going to execute some custom SQL statements. Okay, So to do that, we need to add a new class. I'll call it helper VB. And uh, let's see, we want to, I'm going to use the, the partial syntax to extend the Northwind data context class. And we're going to write our own public function. And let's call it get products by category and this will take a single parameter by val call the category ID and it's an integer and it's going to return this I enumerable enumerable let's see better type this right enumer there we go of of product and there we go of product so it's going to return a numerable list of product objects and let's have it do some straightforward link first from p in me.products. Have it find all the ones where the category ID is equal to the parameter we passed in and return p. Good. Now let's use that inside of the VB code here. We'll create a, a new instance of the Northwind object, the Northwind data context. And let's have it return its result in products equal nw dot. There's our new method, get products by category. Category ID 1 is the beverages category. We'll bind it to our grid view. A little data binding magic, and it should work. Okay, cool. So that's, I mean, that's nothing too new. All we did was stick a we created a helper method that did some basic link code, which we could do before. But let's say I want to write completely custom code. So I'll change that. And this time I'll return the results of this execute query method, also typed to return the product object. And I'll return everything from the product collection, from the products table, that matches the category ID equal to category ID, cat ID. So notice what we're doing. We have a straightforward SQL, uh, T-SQL select statement. It's parameterized and does the, we're doing the parameter substitution and it's going to call execute query. That is a generic method and we're typing it to return um, an I enumerable array of, pro an I enumerable list of products. Essentially it's the same, it's the same function signature. So we can just run this and it should work with no changes. Come on. There it is. In fact, if we go into our profiler, which I've been running all day, that's the last query that we just did right there. Cool. So you can see that writing your own, you know, extending the ORM model that's created for you in VB is tri trivial. You can just use execute query and have a call any of your normal code just like that. Um, this also works if you want to override um, some of the, the the partial functions for delete, you can write your own custom delete syntax just like this. Same method works just fine, but again, it gives you total control over the SQL code that you're executing um, over the ORM model.